Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will learn how to develop a stopwatch timer app in Thunkable. And you have a big advantage of watching this video because we will be learning how to use animation component, uh, although it's an invisible component, then, uh, then the timer component and the bottom tab navigator component also. So we are going to include all these features in our stopwatch timer app. So before starting making it, let's see a small demo of how this will be working. So here is the bottom tab navigator. So this is the world clock. It will tell us the time and the date. Today is March 25, 2021. And then is the stopwatch. So let's start it. One, two, three seconds. And we can also lap it, lap it and lap it. It will go on to till hours and minutes. When we stop it, it gives us the option of reset. We can reset it and again start it. So this was a small demo of how our stopwatch timer app will be working. So let's start building it. So first of all, click on create new app and name your project. So my project name is stopwatch timer app and then click on create. And it will take you to your workspace. So first of all, let's add the first one, the bottom tab navigator. Yes, here it is, bottom tab navigator. So whenever you add a navigator, there are two, na uh, sorry, three navigators, draw navigator and there is a top, navi uh, top navigator also. So when you use navigators, it allows you to have one, two, three, four. To have four screens, this screen is already there. So you can have four screens, but because we are making an app which have only two screens, so we will delete the two screens here. So from here, we can delete it. I have delete the setting and the account one. And I am also going to delete the screen number one because we already have two screens that is home and about. But we are going to rename it and instead home we are going to name it world clock screen. And the another one is that is the about will be named as stop watch screen stop watch screen so we learned how to use bottom tab navigator next let's working uh, let's start working with world clock screen so for this we need an animation here it is you can search for it add it and we need a label great so let's now name it the label will be named because here we are going to write world clock. So we'll name it world C clock. Clock. So it's a screen. So see here is clock. Okay. Let's change the font size 30 and color black. And the font weight bold. Okay. And also with the animation, let's change its height. Let's change its absolute size of 100, 100 or 150, 150. And another one also 150. So height and width 150. Next, we are going to add here two rows, number one row. So let's drag it down the world clock. So, and in this row, we will be adding a label and a time input. Time input. Okay. And then for the row, its height then will be fill content. So just we want it a little bit just for the content. Then another row, row number two. 
let's bring it down the label one here here somewhere again in this row we will be adding a label but this time date input let's write date input and again for the second row it will be for fill content as it is okay next let's change its um, font size 27 and for the label here we are going to write time again with the font size of 27 and then adding the margin between them but a little bit uh, later color black so this should be above all right next let's add the margin so we'll add a space of 30 right same will go with the date input also the 27 will be the font size in the label we will be writing here instead of time we will be writing date again with the font size 27 color black and the margin and the margin of 20 and i have added a margin of 30 30 between both of the uh, between all of them so they have uh, so they can see for breathing okay next let's work with the screen changing its background color purple yes purple and then now we will be working with the animation now for the animation the thunkable that uses the animation is lottiefiles.com so you can go on google and search for lottiefiles.com search lottiefile.com and search for it and it should be the first link and it will take you to its platform and then click on get started so this is a big legendary platform and now here you can search for the animation that you want for example we need a clock okay then a search for clock and you will be able to see some of the animations that it provides for free so you may see there are many animations here choose one so i have chosen this one then right click on any of the animation that you like and then click on copy link address after copying it here you have to uh, paste the url so like this i have pasted it lotify.com so by doing this the your animation will be added so this completes our first screen next let's go on to the stopwatch screen for this here we need two labels Okay, we need two labels, first label and the second label. So the first label will be the, uh, this will be stop label. So stop label and another one will be the time label. Alright, and in respect to their uh, names, we will also text here the same. So here we will be writing 0 0 0 0 0 0 then I have changed its color to white now we will change the background color to be black next let's add margin of 20 between them okay so we end the part 1 here in the part 2 we will start further on making with the stopwatch screen thank you for watching we will meet again in part 2